Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finally finish up Kaelid. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing. So there's nothing to talk about. That being said, let's go ahead and go to our map. And we're going to put a couple of markers down. First one is going to be about right here. Second one is going to be right over here. And that'll be it. The rest is going to be self-explanatory, so we don't have to worry about markers too much in this video. We're actually going to do pretty much a boss rush. We're just going to be taking out some of the dragons that we did not take out, and then some night bosses. Keep coming down here. And then over here, we're going to go in this little pond with these two dragons. We're going to get a couple of items. Some gravel stone. One more item right here. And then we're going to circle around here and just come right down here. And I think I could have got that marker a little closer. That's okay. It still served its purpose. So we got some dragon grease, a somber smithing stone nine, and a rune arc. We'll get rid of that marker. Guess I got a I could have got a little closer over here. Just gonna follow this up. We're going back over by the little shack where we had got the beast repellent torch. There's a silver scarab over there that I didn't get. Honestly, I forgot that it was over here. Oh, we get the Ash of War sky shot. We have this dog chasing us. That's all right. Not a big deal. Right over here, we're going to put a marker just so we know we're going to the tower in Kaelid here. Ooh, that was close. You got pretty close to me there. Almost took a chunk out of my booty. And then before we go up the tower, there is another silver scarab. This is one of the scarabs that explodes, so be careful. And it's kind of awkwardly placed on this tree root. Do the best you can. We get a somber smithing eight. We're going to hop on torrent. And then right over here, we're going to hop on this route. And then we'll hop over here.
climb this ladder. Then once we get to the top, we're going to head to the left. Be really careful. Take it slow if you have to. This is not an easy part to traverse. I never enjoy traversing this part. Especially right here. This is an easy spot to fall off of. Just jump once. Jump twice. Come down here. Jump one more time. And then hop off torrent. And climb the ladder. Let's go ahead and light this grace. We're going to open this door and we're going to go to the top and get Radon's Great Ruin. Now there's still more to this tower. We're just wanting to get the great rune first and then we're going to descend down into the basement of the tower. Go ahead and grab that. Get Radon's Great Rune. And then we're going to fast travel to the Divine Tower of Kaled Center. Now let's head down. This part can be very tricky. So be prepared. For him to hit us. Ooh, broke our guard. Come on. Come over here and activate this summoning pool. And then right down here, we can hop on this platform. And we're going to come over here. And this platform is going to fall. Don't freak out. We're not going to die. For some reason it allows us to have iframes there. So we want to hop down just very carefully inch your way off to get onto this platform. And do not roll. Just walk off and you'll land on this brazier. If you roll off, you're going to roll off to your death. I promise you. We can roll off here. We won't die there. And then we're going to very carefully jump onto this pillar. You don't have to. You can actually very gently fall off right here if you want to. So keep that in mind. If you don't feel comfortable hopping to that pillar, don't do it. Take that guy out. Easiest way to take that guy out, I promise.
Okay, we have this guy. He's not too tough. Unless you let him hit you with his fire like that. It's okay. We'll just heal ourselves real fast. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab an item. And then there's another pillar. Or, well, platform. Not really pillar. To fall on. And it's going to bring us down a little further. But first, we need to repair that pillar. Or platform. I don't know why I keep calling it pillars. So what we're going to do is we're going to backtrack real fast. Climb up this ladder. It's a really long ladder. If you've ever played any FromSoft game in the world, you'll know that they love their ladders. They're long, long, long ladders. We're going to open up this door. This is where we activated the summoning pool earlier, along with killing those other enemies. What we're going to do is we're going to rest at the grace. And that's going to repair that platform so that we can get an item. We're going to run right past these enemies. They don't really matter. If they hit you, it's okay. We're going to have to fast travel back anyways and juke by them. Unfortunately, there's a lot of back and forth here. So right here, we hop off, and then we hop off one more time, and we get a golden rune 12. Now we're going to fast travel back over to the Divine Tower of Kaled. We're going to run by these guys again. Like I said, I wouldn't worry too much about them. The only guy I worry about is the guy that can use the black flame spells. <laughs> he came running after us and died. This guy has got some moves today, doesn't he? Get a fire blossom from him. Okay, so where we grabbed this item earlier, we're going to come over here towards the ledge. We can heal ourselves. Probably rest at the grace down below. We're going to get another grace. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Yeah, we're going to fall pretty far. But again, we're not going to die. We won't take any fall damage. Don't ask me how that works. I don't know. Then we'll just rest at this grace to get our flasks back. We're going to have another one of those... Black flame guys. Let's go ahead and drink a flask. Our, well, our wondrous flask of physic. Not a flask. let our mimic tier catch aggro for a second this guy is a little different than the noble that we fought 
prior. But in my opinion, he's a lot easier. So we get the Godskin Apostle set. I really like the hood. So let's put that one on. We'll be rolling like this probably for the rest of the game just because I like the look. So for opening this chest, we get the God Slayer's Greatsword. Really cool greatsword. It's also a legendary one. So if you want to use it, try it out. It's pretty cool. So now what we want to do is we want to start fighting the dragons. We're going to come over here to the Faroom Great Bridge. I'll see everybody over there. So here's the first dragon we're going to fight. We're going to get closer to him before we drink our wondrous flask of physic. He's going to turn around in just a moment. I know it. Be really careful, this is a tougher dragon. As he just stomps on me. Run, 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 run. Oh, he's gonna do his fire bullshit. Can we get over to his face before it's too late? Oh. Well, our Mimic Tear killed him before we could get over there. Good job, bud. We also get a Dragon Heart for killing him. Sorry about that. So our next dragon is going to be way down here by the Kalid Highway South. Go ahead and put our shield on. We want to make sure that our Mimic tier is using a shield on this one because this dragon is going to use Rot. Be very, very careful with this dragon. He is no joke and he can kill you very easily. Oh, and when he stomps, yeah, he uh, sends out some Scarlet Rot. Pretty awesome. And then he's going to spew out some Scarlet Rot. Be very careful. It goes everywhere, as you can tell. There he goes again. There we go. Took down that dragon. Get another dragon heart. And then if we head south, we can go up to the 
church here. Spend a couple of dragon hearts. This fucking guy. We can get ourselves a Gil's Flame. Get, I cannot pronounce this name to save my life, but we can get Decay, which is just an upgraded version of our Scarlet Rot Dragon Breath. We'll get this as well, the Glintstone Breath, and then we'll get the Roar. The next one we're going to want to get is the one that's the upgraded ice. But for now, this one's just fine. Now what we want to do is the night bosses. We have three. We have one here, one over here, and then one way up here. So we're going to start over here for our night bosses over by Lin's Rise. So we're going to have to turn it to nighttime. I was hoping that we'd have enough time that it would automatically turn night for us, but unfortunately we did not. Let's hop on Torn. We're going to ride over here, drink our flask, hop off. Keep yourself healed on this guy. This guy is pretty rough. Or can be at least. Take him out. And we get the Ash of War Bloodhound Step. That's what we've been using on our Bloodhound's Fang. So if you want to put that on another weapon, go ahead and do that. Such a badass skill. Obviously, we've been using it the whole game so far. We're going to come over here to the Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank. We're going to head south here until we get to the road. We're going to drink our flask. He's going to turn around in just a moment. Buff our sword. This guy is going to be a pushover compared to the other dude. Maybe. I had to say something, didn't I? There we go. Pretty easy. So for that, we get the Ash of War Poison Moth Flight. So what that'll do is it will sling a bunch of poison in front of you and it will also put poison on your weapon. I honestly don't use poison in Elden Ring at all. Kinda sucks. Not kind of, it just sucks. We're gonna put our Lord Sworn's quality greatsword on because we have some holy imbued on it and we're going to want that for this death bird over here
Ouch. Oh, that should have hit. Oh, great. Now we have Frostbite on. We'll take more damage. Just run away whenever he does that. Try to get out of the way as best as you can. And boom. He's dead. Can be a difficult fight, but at this point, I think you'll be okay. So if we're killing him, we get Death's Poker. That's pretty much the weapon he was just using. So you've seen the uh, kind of moves and stuff. It's not exactly the same as that, obviously. But with that being dead, now what we're going to do is come over here. But to be able to do that, we have to fast travel to the Deep Soifra Well. I'll see everybody over there. Before we go any further, let's change back to our Bloodhound's Fang. We're going to be heading northwest. As soon as you see these iron golems, you know you're in the right spot. Be very careful of their arrows. Let him do his stupid little fire attack. Get the spiked palisade shield. Pretty cool shield. I have used it on occasions. I'm going to run to the right. We're going to come up here and talk to this big old jar. And then we're going to have to defeat three invaders. We're going to take this on this one on first. Shouldn't be a hard fight. We'll buff our weapon. Super easy. Now, if you're online, playing online, these are going to be different. So I recommend playing offline, getting the easy kills, and then going back online. They can parry you. But, I mean, we're making them look like chumps. This is the hardest one. This is why I always save it for last.
Ooh. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we get the Great Jars Arsenal. Putting that talisman on will boost your equip load. So if you're like, oh, well, I don't want to use or I don't want to put points into my endurance, just put that on and then you can wear heavy armor. Right here is Kaled's Col Coliseum. You have to be online to use this. It's for PvP. Let's go ahead and go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody over there. We're going to come over here to the Finger Maiden. And we're going to look at some of the stuff we can get from the natural born and the lich dragon. So first things first, you can get the bastard star staff. It's pretty cool. Looks cool. It's I think part of its tail or something. You can also get the ash of war waves of darkness. You essentially hit your weapon down and a bunch of waves of darkness kind of spew out. Over here for the Lich Dragon Fortisax, you can get Fortisax's Lightning Spear. Pretty cool. You kind of jump in the air and throw out a spear. I like that one. And then also Death Lightning. It's essentially you rain down lightning and do lightning damage along with uh, death buildup on your enemies. So cool stuff. And then still we have not got anything new for our attires. Now, do. I will be buying those eventually. Just not yet. Over here we're going to turn in our bell bearings. We got quite a few of them built up at this point. Got them all turned in. And then lastly, we're going to level up our Dragon Communion Seal. Well, I took you no matter it's a layout, you're out. Level that up. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time. It may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne signing off.